day, one and all, and welcome to another Healthy Tits of Healthy Living. My name is Soraya Skeet, and I'm here with my gorgeous mum, Jeannie. Hi. And we're here again to bring you lots of joy, laughter, fun, and information. Yes. All to, I'd love to do this, Soraya. Feet. Well, today we continue Feet. on our quest to educate you on moving your bowels. I was not ready for that one, but... Um, but we talked about types of laxatives. Oh, yes. So that's a bowel mover. All right. Yes, I'm but wrong. But before yeah. we do that, I wanted to show you something that's kind of interesting. Because I just love this book. Look at your feet. Big fantastic. Aren't they amazing? All this electrical wiring going on. That, so, I, I honestly thought the bones... Well, well, it is. Thing? Those are, are those are tendons, and they go up to your ankles. Aren't they look they like interesting? tendons. Well, you know, it's right there, and that just goes again to show you the amazing work of our father, don't you think? You know, just it, it's just incredible. awesome. It's awesome. It's These awesome. are our feet. Look how intricate they are. <laughs> We, we, a lot we of really boring. take a lot of things for granted, don't we? We certainly do. We're very silly. I just love this book. When, yeah. you, when the boat comes back in, when it does... Wasn't it another. coming? Wasn't it at the top? Wasn't it not supposed to come back in? No, that particular one. Oh, that one. Place. Okay. Yeah, oh, the one. new one. Okay. All right. So we're going hmm. on to speak of types of laxatives. Natural now. ones. Natural one laxatives, take. because we have a habit of um, going into the shop when we cannot move our bowels and um, buying naughty things. Well, no. Artificial like ones. Stuff that which is, yeah, artificial. And, you know, we use senna, and, and, and senna is not always the best way to move your bowels, especially if you are O blood type because you're allergic to it and it can cause really bad um, stomach pain. So, especially if you have ulcerated stomach as well, you want to stay away from the senna. So, you can do it very, very mild, you know. I, I, you, drink, I, you have to drink a lot of water, you know, mom. A yeah. lot of water. And it should be mixed with other things like ginger to help keep Yes, to help calm. keep it calm, yeah. yeah. So some of the things that you can use as um, natural laxatives, so we're going to go through them mm -hmm. to use. Now, again, you know, if you notice that we keep harping on a bowel movement, and the reason why I keep coming down to it, even I have to mention it, every single month or every single week, I will do so because of the importance that if you do not move your bowels, you've got all of this congestion. And if you the think toxins, about it, the know? toxins, and we're going to go into another show of this, obviously, it's not going to be stuck in one show. So I'm going to try and get quickly the intestine. So if you think about 33 feet, is it, Mum? Yep, 33 feet of it. But from, from the mouth down to the anus, it's 33 right. feet. And it's bunged bunged up with all up that stuff. With Poop. Can't I Waste say? fecal matter. Waste can't, products. Can't I say poop on TV? Well, that belongs to the large intestines, the that part, and the rest are digested stuff. Okay, it has not turned this, into that yet. If you look at this, your intestines, okay, it's all full of stuff that's not moving. So just imagine right you got all of this stuff 33 feet of it full of stuff that's not moving so it's like a big clogged pipe yeah. right and so what happens right it starts to smell funny and starts to disintegrate and all the toxins and the gases start coming back up and that's how we start getting a lot of diseases because it becomes very acidic and it becomes very you know it's well, it then really starts healthy. poisoning our bloodstream as well you poisoning see? the bloodstream poisoning the, the body and so we start developing all kinds of problems so it's very 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 important to to move, move it. your bowels to move it move it daily yes, not you eat daily once a day not once every other day it's got to be at least two to three times per day you know you a lot of people don't do it more than once eat. a week well, huh? Yeah, which is really bad. If you think about the amount of times you eat in a day, if you eat three times a day, you should move your bowels three times a day. You See. should. Really. Okay, so don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should. And I'm hearing people say, no, 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 of course not. Well, what happens to all the food? Well, yes, the yes, good yes. part of the food stays yes. in the body and the bad part goes out. 
And so we've got to wrap up the show. So tomorrow we'll come and tell you all the great ways that you can move your bowels and feel healthy. And clean. And clean. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. You do oh. love us, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> maybe sometimes, right? <laughs> Yeah, oh, well, so you know, right. those two Wrap women, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put Robbie on. Okay, coming up next is my husband, Chef Robbie, with Ready, Ready Set, set cook. cook. And then good old Sherwin. With healthy tips it's for healthy, healthy body. body. Yes, 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 yes. We love you. <laughs> we love you. <laughs>